Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Crafty Concepts with Erin. Can you believe it's December already? Today we're playing with the Serenity Paper Collection. And you guys, check this out. This paper is gorgeous. I love the blues and those flecks of gold. All the pages are double-sided. And what's neat about this paper pack is you can make it very wintry or not wintry at all. These pine cones would make an awesome winter themed page, but I love the craft with the little wreaths and then this floral page is gorgeous. And of course, there's always the coordinating sticker sheet available. This one has that gold foiling detail, which is very, very pretty. Lots of title options and pretty embellishments on here. I always like to get the Picture My Life cards also. I like how the orientation is either horizontal or vertical depending on what you need and these would make fun titles or cards all sorts of things you can do with these and of course there's the two sizes journaling blocks available all sorts of fun stuff let me show you a quick shaker card i made with picture my life cards they make for really fast cards and this is a fun one i made earlier I have this one photo of my sister and I on a trip to Big Sur in California. So I'm going to be scrapbooking that today. And I want to use this floral paper as my background. I'm bringing in a piece of sapphire and vanilla, and I'm going to cut these down so they kind of make a center square. This is going to be 10 by 10, and then I'll make the vanilla just slightly smaller so it has the border of sapphire all the way around. Now, normally I do this off camera, but I actually had someone reach out and ask me how to gut the inside of a paper pack out. So I use my paper trimmer. This is the easiest way. And just depending on, you know, how big of a section, I'm cutting out a nine by nine square. I probably could have gone bigger, but you know, I just want to show you how easy this is to do. So you just go around and then you can, you're not wasting that. You can use that for a different piece and you'll never even know that it was gutted out. Sometimes I assume you guys know how to do things, so that was a great question. If you ever have questions like that, just put them in the comments below. So I'm looking at my photo on the back or against that blue, and I want it to stand out a little bit more. Now, don't freak out. I do this all the time. Straight up, sand the edges of your photo, and it looks really cool. It won't ruin them at all. And somehow I lost a little footage, um, so I put it back together just so you can see what I did. I tore that paper just to create my photo mat like so. Now I wanna bring in this craft color because there's the wood in the chairs in the photo. So I cut that down to a three inch piece, dovetailed the end, and I'm gonna put that off to the side just like that. I wanna add some interest to the background, so I'm bringing in my all-purpose mat and we're gonna do some ink smushing. I have Bluebell ink, a water brush, and a piece of acetate. Any packaging will work. This is actually a um, flip flap that got damaged and so I'm using that. So smush the ink pad on your all-purpose mat, add some water, and then we're literally just going to take our piece of acetate and smash it around and mush it up and it's ready for our paper now. So let me set this part aside. Now I'm gonna take this and blot off just a little bit down below and then apply it directly to your cardstock. This is not treated with gesso or anything. I'm just directly applying the ink and water to the background. This is a super simple way to add interest and texture and bring in some color to your background. I'm adding it to the top and bottom, and then I'm gonna bring back in my photo to make sure that the color's peeking out enough. And that looks good. I'm gonna end up bringing a little more off to the right where my hand was. So using the all-purpose mat makes it super simple to clean up. Just take a dry cloth, wipe that up, and it's uh, clean and ready to go for next time. So I can bring back in my paper layers here, and you can see I put some more out to the right to have three points of that color. And now I can bring in my embellishments. This is from the sticker sheet. I've gone ahead and removed the adhesive backing with my anti-static pouch. Now they're like die cuts and I can move them around. Actually, one of my besties thinks I'm crazy. She's like, why do you take the sticker off? And she just cuts around them on the sticker sheet so she can do the same thing. So that works also. So I think I like this larger floral cluster off to the lower right, and then I'm gonna place this one up on the diagonal to draw your eye across the layout. This cute little tab makes this look like a little clipboard, and I wanna bring in more of that those gold foil accents. 
So I spotted this off to the corner of my desk. These are leftover wooden shapes from the Bloom with Grace collection. And hey, I say if you've got it, use it up. No sense in hanging on to it. I really like how the natural feel of the wooden embellishments really reflects the nature in the photo itself. And it brings in a really cool texture. I love them. And now I want to bring in this um, zip strip. This is basically the branding strip off of one of the pattern papers. And I just like the detail it brings to the lower half of my photo mat. So I'm going to go ahead and apply some dimensional foam to the back of this floral cluster. The wooden shapes definitely are dimensional. So by popping up that floral cluster, I can easily tuck those wooden shapes underneath to make them look like they're coming out of the embellishment and a part of it. So this was a really cool place. We actually were on a trip just visiting one of my sister, other sisters on the coast, and we went to Big Sur for the day, and they showed us this was like an inn. Um, I think it's called Big Sur Inn, and they literally had these Adirondack chairs sitting down in the water. Now, it was January at the time, so it was very cold, and we didn't want to get wet, but it was still really cool just to sit there, and um, the only thing that would have made it better is a cup of hot chocolate or a coffee or something like that. It was just one of those little moments that kind of had a big impact. It was a really fun time. So you'll notice I'm using liquid glass for the wooden embellishments and it will adhere them very well. And then tape runner and liquid glue. I, you know, as crafters, I think we all have our favorite types of adhesive. So, you know, I have my go-to for whatever it is I'm doing at the moment. So I generally will use two to three different types of adhesive on one project. And that may sound like a lot, but it's not a big deal. And you, hey, you just like what you like, right? Drop your favorite adhesive in the comments below. I'm super curious. So I cut down a picture of my life card. I just wanted a tiny little journaling block that I'm going to include right there. And then I saw this little lonely arrow. It was the last piece left over from that wooden embellishment pack. So I thought, hey, why not? We'll put it on the layout. I'm sure we can find a place for it. And that looks super cute. And no project is complete without a little bling, right? So I have the gold glitter gems here and there's two different sizes and these are adhesive backed. So I'm going to add just an odd number. I'm putting three around this upper left cluster and I'll repeat that on the lower right, just adding three of them kind of scattered about. The gold looks really good with this paper pack and coordinates beautifully. So I will definitely have some more projects with this Serenity paper collection coming up later in the month. Here are some more videos I think you would enjoy. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.